Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. Today, we're going to be discussing five ways that you can use your second account that is not used for vendor shuffling. Now, I made a video on how to make a second account and exactly how I use it and why it's useful. Um, whenever uh, the vendor shuffles became a really big thing and I talked about the gold breakdown of how much it would cost on US compared to EU to start another account. So if you're interested in the full breakdown of that about gold pricing and everything like that, be sure to check out that video. It'll be in the description below. However, this video, I'm going to basically talk about updated uses for a second account since um, a lot of the vendor shuffles have been nerfed as of patch 9.0.5. So, if you guys don't know, all old world vendor shuffles have been nerfed, including tight spray linen pants and the silk weave uh, pants and shoulders and all those type of shuffles. They have sadly been nerfed, so unless you are still doing Shadowlands vendor shuffles, then people who do have these second accounts that were set up strictly for shuffling um, don't really have a use anymore. So I just want to go over some of the uses that I have been using my second account for, and it is actually saving me a lot of time and making me a lot of gold. So we're going to get right into it with the first one, which is saving time on reposting. Now, what I mean by this is you can create a bank tune on your second account, and actually technically the second account doesn't even need Shadowlands if they are strictly just a bank tune, level 10 sitting inside of Orgrimmar, and then... Once you are there, you just send everything that you want to post to your second account. You can create mailing operations. You can just strictly mail it over the old fashioned way, do whatever you want, and then you will have that on your second account. Now, the cool thing about this is that it basically allows you to multitask while you are playing the game. This is my main character, and what I can do is I can be on my main doing either Shadowlands content, or I can either be farming or doing whatever I want. And then if I open up my second account, I can go on to my bank tune. Let's say it's Druid Sense. This could be my bank tune, log on, and I can be reposting on this character and cancel scanning. And it completely does that on its own. Yes, you have to go and actually hit post once like the scanning happens or whatever. But having a completely different account, which means you can do whatever you want on your main one, will save you a ton of time. Let's say... Let's say for like right when you get on, you have to post your transmog and you have so many transmog, it takes 40 minutes to post. Well, you just saved basically 40 minutes of your time because on your second account, you can be posting your transmog. And then on your first account, you can be crafting uh, potions or you can be doing your dailies for Shadowlands or you can either be in your garrison or pet battling or even just doing an hour of ore farming or something like that. That 40 minutes is not just spent there watching the scan happen, watching the post happen, open up your mailbox, get the other transmog, repeating that for 40 minutes. You can do that on the side while you're doing something else. Now, maybe you get distracted with your first character and the posting takes you 50 minutes or even an hour. So like it takes you a little bit longer. That is perfectly fine because you are still multitasking, doing two things at once. Whereas you would have just been sitting there for 40 minutes and almost wasting time. Um, definitely when you don't have a lot of hours to play. So that is definitely my first recommendation is strictly using this as your bank tunes and you can log on, post and do whatever you want on your second character. Now, the second reason is also going to be about posting, but it's going to be about multi realm posting. If we change my realms, as you can see, I'm on a lot of different servers. And I'm basically just flipping on the servers. I sell pets, I sell transmog that I bought, I sometimes flip materials, just stuff like that. So my daily routine is to just log on to a server, then enter the world, open the mailbox, post back on the auction house, then I have to log off, then I have to change my realm again, and basically do that for my whole server list. And that takes a long time. Because if we take all of those servers that I'm on, which is about six active ones right now, I also would have to post my transmog, and then I have to post my pets on my actual server, and then as well as any old world stuff or anything Shadowlands related, I also have to post. So, it almost takes an hour and a half, an hour uh, minimum, to post 
everything I want to do. However, I can almost cut that hour in half by basically doing what I told you last step. If we go to my second account, I have started doing this. I am not fully finished, but I have started uh, making the tunes on the other characters where I can actually send over my pets. I can send over my items, whatever I'm trying to sell. And now I have it on my second character or my second account. So what I can do is while I'm posting transmog or while I'm uh, crafting on my main account or doing whatever I have to do on my main realm on my main account, I can be on the second one cycling through all the different realms because frankly, the second realms only take about five minutes each because once again, you're just logging on, looting, posting, logging off. That's basically the daily routine, but doing five minutes for like six realms, that's 30 minutes on its own. And if you think about it, like I said before, posting my transmog almost takes about 40 minutes to an hour. So instead of doing 40 minutes of transmog posting, plus 30 minutes of all my other realm posting, I can be doing it at the same time and everything will be done in 40 minutes and I just save 30 minutes of my time. So this method directly relates to the first one about just using this to save time with posting, with crafting, whatever you want to do. So yeah, now we're gonna move on to the third topic. So the third reason why second accounts are really, really good and the third use you can use them for is you could still use them for other shuffles. So if you've seen my previous video, I've actually talked about Tide Spray Linen and how Tide Spray Linen has actually crashed in price and some people are offloading huge amounts. Currently, I still have 50,000 of it on this character and on my second account, I have 14,000 left. Now what I need to do with this is I'm doing the bag shuffle, which means I'm basically crafting Tide Spray bracers and then i'm scrapping them for deep sea satin and the other items and then i'm creating deep sea bags and just posting it on the auction house and currently each bag gives me about 50 to 70 gold profit but the issue with this is just how much i have to craft if we click this button as you can see if i wanted to craft everything right now and it's not even everything this is only six thousand of the linen and keep in mind i have fifty thousand it's going to cost 22 minutes of my time so to basically do a tenth of how much linen i bought it's going to take 22 minutes so if i wanted to actually craft everything right now i'll take two to three hours of my time just hit sitting here and crafting and unless you are working at home or you're doing homework or you're doing something outside or where you can just leave your computer still that is just two and a half hours that you just have to leave your character and that's not very fun. So what I have been doing is if we go onto my second character or my second account, which I actually used for the vendor shuffles before. So it already has the professions. It already has leatherworking and tailoring. It means that I can actually go ahead and send everything to this character and I can craft the bracers on here. As you can see, I still need nylon thread. However, I still have 14,000 left on this character, so if I send over the 50,000 as well as a ton of nylon thread, I can hit craft all and basically just leave this alone until I come back or maybe I could just be playing the game on my main realm, whatever, just doing whatever I want and then I come back to two hours later or I retab open two hours later and everything's crafted and then I get to scrapping. So this saves plenty of time because instead of just having to sit AFK for those two hours, I am actively able to continue playing the game, continue farming, doing whatever you need. Now let's say you do want to go AFK, you can actually start crafting on this character, send about half to your main account, then you can start crafting on that character and you're basically crafting two times as fast because you have two crafters going at the exact same time. So let's say you do want to go AFK, those two hours only turns into one hour of AFK, which means maybe you're on a lunch break because you're like working from home or whatever and you're on a lunch break, so you're going to go run and get some food or you're going to run downstairs to get some food, you have an hour, whatever you need to do. You could just sit here, make both of them start crafting, and when you come up, you might almost be completely finished with all your crafting. So yeah, this is one method to just speed up your crafting process, and of course, you don't even have to use this for the shuffling method. 
If you are crafting a ton of crafted gear, a ton of potions, whatever you need to do, you can either speed up or just save that time by just sending it over to your other account and let it do in the background while ever you are doing your main important stuff on your main account. So this is the third and one of the best ways you can use your second account. So the fourth way and a little bit more complicated way you can use your second account is to actually increase your loot whenever you are doing farms. For example, as you can see, I have both of my accounts open and on my main account, I'm gonna invite my second account. They will, see, they will receive the invite and I accept it and then I basically just make my way over to the destination. For this example, I am going to be showing off volatile water. However, let's say both of your characters are miners, both of your characters are skinners, something like that. You can use this in an herb route, an ore route, or even in a skinning farm to get double the profit. Now, once we make our way over here, I'm gonna make my second account just follow my main character. Now keep in mind, this is technically considered multi-boxing, and multi-boxing as of right now, you can only do it if you are not using any third-party software, which right now, as you guys see, I am basically just tabbing in and out of both of my characters, and that is how I'm controlling them. So there is no third-party software, there is nothing that is against TOS right here. So I just select my main guy, and then I hit follow. And then wherever I move on my first account, the guy will follow. Then I can just, let's say, farm in volatile water. There is somebody here, but I can just go around, swipe, do whatever I want. And my second account will follow me. And then, as you can see, whenever I want to loot, I open it, I loot it on my first account, tab in, click loot as well, and I loot it on my second account. So, basically, I am getting double the loot for basically doing nothing so if i am let's say you could do this with a volatile farm you could do this with uh mining like i said you can go around if you see a node you just select the node on both of the characters and then you can get double the loot you can also do this in a skinning farm let's say you're doing a two by four farm you can also do it with that and yeah you just get your second account to follow your first person and that's basically it and definitely, if you guys had a group or you had a more wide-scale farm, this would be a lot better instead of just individually looting. But as you can see, on my first account, I got seven volatile of water. And my second account, I also got seven. So I completely doubled what I would have gotten in those, like, few minutes if I did this solo. So this is also a very good way to just use your second account. And it just helps you speed up your gold making, get more loot, whatever you need to do, and it's just a very, very good way to use your second account. Now, the final and fifth reason why you can have your second account is strictly just for storage. Now, this is what I do whenever I am just have a ton of materials. I just send it over to this guy and shove it into their bank. Currently, it's kind of cleaned out because I have sent it over. However, I still have plenty of Tide Spray Linen. I have a few uh, Desolate Leather, and I used to have a ton of Penumbra Thread as well as Nylon Thread inside of this bank. Now, of course, my main use of this account was to do vendor shuffles, so that is what the majority of my materials were, but it basically got it away from all of my main characters that I play a lot of, or of my crafting characters that I know I don't need those materials at the moment, however it was just kind of stuff in the bank. I could just send it over to this character and I don't really have to worry about it until I know I specifically need those items. Now, of course, like I said, you could you don't need a second character for this. Of course, you can you can just make a, another character on your main account and just make that a storage character. Fill their bank, make a guild bank, do whatever you need. However, just the ease of having this on a second account, you don't have to log off your main. Just open your second account, log on to your bank tune, send it right over, and then you didn't have to even disrupt anything that you were doing on your main account, whether that was crafting, farming, um, doing main content, whatever you need, you can just do it completely separate of any anything to do with logging out or whatever. So, 
Yes, maybe this isn't the exact reason why you should make a second account. However, if you do have a second account laying around and you're not really using it, you might as well just use it as a storage system. It will help you in the long run, keep you organized, and yeah. So yeah guys, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Twitch. I am now streaming three to four times a week from 8 to 11 EST, so feel free to check out my Twitch. Also join the Discord, we are at 750 members, which is crazy. However, we are doing giveaways, we are chatting about gold, we're just chatting about life, we're talking about whatever you guys want. If you need help or you want to help others, feel free to join there, it's just an amazing time. Also, huge shout out to all of you, you have given me so many good ideas about what you want to see on my channel as well as streaming and just anything, so I really really appreciate your guys' feedback. So yeah, I hope this video helped, whether you have a second account or not, hopefully this decides what exactly you want to do with it, or if it's worth it to actually pick up a second one or not. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.